Hey guys, my name's Rex and welcome back to Yume Nikki. This is our third episode and today I thought I would try to go to the dream within the dream because we have found the umbrella effect and that is useful. Now I figured out, I think I figured out what was causing some of that lag last episode and I believe that I've remedied that. Nope, that's not going to work. I wonder if I can just keep going in and out if it'll work or if I have to pinch myself and try over and over and over again. But uh... Point being, I changed it from full screen mode to a windowed mode, which is much better, in my opinion. So now I'll be able to, hopefully, not encounter that weird lag. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's pretty sad if my computer can't play an RPG Maker game. But anyway, I'll jump back to you whenever we figure out this little thing here. There we go. We got it. Now, if you go back up, you'll just wake up and ruin it. Now, this is, again, a little more disturbing in imagery here. And these hands are reaching up, indicating probably unwanted physical touching. Now, over here, there should be a fire that is blazing. And we can put it out with one of our effects, our umbrella effect. So, we're able to put it out which will allow us to explore in here and again let's get our let's get our bicycle out there we go and there is that thing what is this how do I get back there I, oh there we go I was like I know I can get back there and let's get this guy he's in effect what it come on there we go poop hair yes that's correct poop hair now, you may be thinking to yourself, what on earth could there be a use for poop hair? What, why, what, what? And that is, that is a good reaction. F why would there be poop hair in this, uh, in this game? And I'll show you here. When we put that down, look, look, a little, a little fly comes out. And you may again be asking yourself, why is that useful? Well, this game is easy to get lost in. So while you are exploring, you lay down one of these flies and you, lo you know, oh, I've been to that spot before. There's flies here. There's a whole slew of them. So that's what that's for. I recommend getting that as soon as you can because it is useful and we probably will be using it sometime in the future here. So let's go down this elevator and see what else we can find. Now is there... Uh... Oh, I went to the wrong one. Yep, see, now it's blocked off. So now I'm no longer in the dream within the dream. There is something up there that you can go to, but unfortunately, I went to the wrong one. Now, it's really not that big of a deal simply because... These guys seem sad. It's not that big of a deal because there's a different effect you need to have to trigger that sequence, and we don't have that yet, and that is the witch effect. Otherwise, she will just fall down off of the building, because you go to the top of the building here. She will fall down off the top of the building and then wake up. It's one of two things that will actually wake up Natatsuki. So here you can change your color scheme. I don't know why that's really in, in the game at all. But that's... I don't like the red. That scares me. Let's go back to the... I don't know if that's the original, but we'll go with that for now. Does he do anything? No. Okay, there's a guy here. And we got the flute effect. So this person here, there is something in here. He reacts to one of the effects, and I think it might be the cat effect, to which we don't have yet. But here, we can play some music while we explore. And again, you take, just take note of the, of the pictures in this office here. And you can make of it what you will, but to me it looks again like forced touching. That sort of theme that's going on. Where's our bicycle? Alright, there is another area that I want to explore and I want to show you guys. Where is it? It's up here somewhere. These are hard to navigate areas because of the diagonal places. Okay, and here. It's this guy. Okay, he he's he looks kind of cute. Let me sit in this chair here. And I don't know what this is. There's stuff. It's just goopy red stuff. 
Now come out here, buddy. He's ruining it. I'm gonna have to leave and then come back. Or I can't leave. <laughs> this jerk. Come out. Okay. Again, I don't want to get in a situation where I have to pinch myself, but when you interact with him, he just does that. And he won't stop. He'll just do that forever. And when you leave the room and come back, he'll be normal again, I believe, but he just sits there oozing that goop. And then, is that his goop there? Is that blood? What does it mean? Make of it what you will. I'd be curious to see what your thoughts are on it, so leave a comment down below telling me what you what you think this stuff could mean. And these people are just all sad-like. Okay. Now the exit to this place is the same place that we entered it in, I believe. What's up here? Oh, I think it just repeats. I think that's gonna be... Nope, it doesn't. I was wrong. Another sad person. There is... an exit. The exit is the same place where we began this area, and inside of that, when we go back through the exit, we will be where we got the bicycle. That's what I was trying to say this whole time. Is that so hard? Yes, talking is hard. Oh, hey, cool. I feel like there should be a secret here, you know what I mean? Like, but there's not a secret. Come on, secret. Secret, secret. Yeah, this is all the stuff that I'm remembering, but... I'm gonna have to start looking at a, a walkthrough so I can show you all of the hidden gems that are contained in this game. And I believe everything has been found so far. This game is pretty old. It was created in 2004, I believe. Where are you? Here, I'll just jump cut when I find the dang exit entrance thing. There we are. Can we go down again? Oh, we can go down again. There we go. So we can't go down any further so let's explore this way there's another manhole cover okay I believe I remember this one we already have the frog effect have I even demonstrated that you guys are probably screaming at me upset that I didn't do the frog she turns into a frog and then she jumps boink boink I don't really know what the point is some of some of these have uses some of them are again probably just symbolism to represent something but this is a very interesting one, and I think after this sequence, we'll call it an episode. But he- or, or will he? Okay, he transports us. Oh, wow. This is not what I was expecting. But we'll explore this nonetheless, because at the end of it, there should be- There should be an effect. So we have these little warp pads, and I- I don't know the sequence. I wish that I did. Let's do this one. I'm feeling it. Nope. I lied. Not that one for sure. Here we go. Up here. Here? One of them is green. I know that. Um. Might, again, might just have to do a jump cut until I find it. According to the guide, this is the exit. There we are. Here's the blue tile. And here we are in the wilderness. And I did not mean to go in that thing. So let's not go in there, because that's creepy. What have we here in this wilderness? It's still raining. I had to go and make it rain for days. Anyway, the wilderness is pretty wildernessy. I guess I guess we need to check out that area then. Let's go ahead. Let's go in here. This is the static maze, I think. Oh, here we are in 8-bit world. Wow. Now, all of these characters say numbers, 2, 3, 5, 3, 2, and I don't know the purpose of it. But this is a throwback to the 8-bit era. Playing a little, a little homage, homage, or whichever it is, to that era of gaming. And there is an effect in here. I believe it's the mini one somewhere. <laughs> we'll be able to make little mini. Little mini Matosukis. They're so cute. Little mini Matosuki. There's a bridge down there. So let's explore this evil place. What's in here? Here we are. What is this? 06477. 
Yeah, I don't know what that means, buddy. 66991. Yeah, if you... With, that, with those numbers could mean maybe she was a math teacher in her life and those are her students saying the answers. Awesome. I love all the light that's going on in here. Freaking can't see a thing. I wish we would have gotten the light effect. I think we might be stuck, but let's... Yeah. I think we're stuck. We would need the light effect before we come back here, but it's okay. We can always come back. Let's see here. Yeah. I wonder if we can go back the way we came. A lot of these places are one-time exits, or one-way exits, rather. One-time exits. They're one-way exits, so you can't just go back the way you came. It's another reason why this game is a little difficult to explore, but that's part of it. Okay, yeah, just wanted to double check to see if we didn't, missed anything, and I don't think there's anywhere else to go. I'll do some research later, and we can come back here and explore that dark room a little better, a little more closely. So let's do that. Can we come back in here? There we are, and we'll go back through here so we can. There is, a, I feel like there is a way. Nope, I was wrong. All right, so let's explore this wilderness a little more. I think ah, there's an exit around here somewhere, or that might just be a different part of the wilderness because there is an effect in the wilderness that we need. It's a towel effect, I believe. But I think that's only going to be... It's a different It's a different entrance to the wilderness, I believe. I think this is a dead end, and it only goes to that specific area there. So we will need to pinch ourselves, or... Yeah, let's pinch ourselves. And I'm going to check to see how we're doing on time here. Yeah, we might need to call it an episode, unfortunately. Why don't you go ahead and save? We did we did okay. Did we get another effect? I don't know. I do want to show you one little thing before we end this episode. And that is this fun little glitch. I think if we get in here. Oh yeah, that's right. We can we can hop off. Okay. Let me get back on here. There is a way to get on your bicycle. Is that it? Let me see. Okay. I can't quite do it. There's a... I can't remember how to do the glitch. But basically... You're able to move super fast. How how do you do that? Eh. Give me one moment, I'll figure this out. Okay, so you're supposed to get on here and then get your bicycle on, and then when you hop off, you'll move really fast. That's it. Huh. There we go. So this is useful. You can use it to explore much quicker. Much more quickly, rather. But, unfortunately, when, when you interact or use an effect, then it kind of turns off that thing. So, anyway, but that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then join us next time for more Yume Nikki. You take care. Bye-bye.